Pre-emerge herbicides. You know, we all know we need to use them, but how do we get the most bang for our buck? Brian, I got a few questions for you today, and I'd like to start Ooh, there. Ooh, sounds good, all right. Okay, first of all, do I put the pre-emerge herbicide on before I plant or after I plant? If you want burn down activity, you're gonna do it after you plant. You're gonna wanna do it about two or three days before the crop emerges. So if I had something that included Sharpen, for example, like Verdict, I might wanna put that on two or three days before the crop emerges so I have the most weeds up as possible, then I fry them down. The problem with spraying a little later is now you're a lot less likely to get rain on that herbicide to get the herbicide into the ground and get the residual control you want. So there are two things we're weighing here. If I want burn down activity, I spray late. If I want residual control, I spray early so I get rain, get that herbicide into the ground, and get it working. Okay, now a lot of the pre's that we're using today, they say, well, you can leave them on without doing any tillage at all. Is tillage beneficial to making them work better or not? Tillage is always beneficial with a pre. So some of these companies will tell you, oh, don't till ours in. Tillage is always beneficial with a pre in terms of the residual control. Again, not the burn down activity, obviously. And the reason why is because these products have to get down into that root zone. Either they gotta kill the root or the shoot. They're gonna go in one or the other, the root or the shoot. Well, the root and the shoot are both below ground. So we've gotta somehow get that product into the ground and get it active into that soil moisture. We don't wanna till it in deep or anything with most of these products, but shallow would be great. Okay, with Roundup Ready crops, a lot of guys have gotten used to putting on a half rate of a pre or a two thirds rate, something yep. like that. With Roundup resistant weeds now, do you think we need to go to a full rate? You absolutely have to go with a full rate because you're not getting help from the Roundup on certain weeds. And this might not affect you, but for a lot of farmers it does. And for most farms, it's only one or two resistant weeds that they have and Roundup kills the other 50 weeds that are out there. But if it's those one or two weeds and they're key weeds for you, you better darn well get something good pre-emerge and you might have to go with multiple modes of action. So for example, in soybeans, I can't use a high enough rate of valor or authority to for sure kill 100% of my water hemp and lambs quarters. But if I did valor and authority plus a little metribuzin plus some Treflan Sonalan or Prowl, now I've got enough out there all with activity on water hemp and lambs quarters and I can wipe those things out. Okay, what do you use for carrier when you're putting pre-emerge herbicides? out and also how much volume do you need to get good coverage? Not much. The less water or fertilizer, whatever your carrier is, the higher the pressure, okay? The smaller the droplet. In other words, you could go out, we've done it on our farm with three gallons of water and 80 pounds of pressure and we had perfect control. So we had great spray coverage. But if you're gonna go with 20 pounds of pressure, you probably better bump that water up to maybe 10 gallons. But on our farm, we're typically running seven or eight gallons, and it's usually fertilizer that's the carrier. So it's usually ammonium thiosulfate or liquid 28% or access or one of these other fertilizer products. Just make sure that mixes well with your chemical that you're spraying. Do a jar test first. I like using the fertilizer because then I'm not making an extra trip to get some extra fertility out there. All right, one last question. Are there any products that absolutely have to be incorporated? The ones I can think of off the top of my head would be Treflan and Sonalan in uh, soybeans. I know the label says 24 hours. It's more like 24 seconds in my opinion. If you don't cover those immediately, you're losing them because of very high vapor pressure. In corn, about the only one I can think of is Eradicane, and that's very seldom used anymore anyway. Most of the other products have lower vapor pressure, so you can lay them on like in a no-till situation and then get rain and it all works fine. Well, there's some good tips on pre-emerge herbicides here, but we'll show you which ones will control our weed of the week coming up after this.